All right. Yeah, this is pretty funny. I uh, know. I guess we'll talk about that tweet a different time. I couldn't quite make it with breeding concept, but um, I have been saying for a while, and I actually think, I mean, this is a funny video. I, I, I mean, I think it, 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 it sort of, I guess, um, uh, makes a point. But I, I genuinely think, like, Trump has picked up literally the diction from uh, Sean Hannity. Like, when you, when you see Trump say excoriate, I am telling you. Trump, you, I mean, uh, Hannity uses that term on his uh, radio show. Like, he learned it, like, about three years ago. It's the word of the day. Four years ago. It was the word of the day that, you know, for him, he basically picks up a new word every three or four years. And so, excoriate, he uses, like, four or five times a day. It used to be they tried to excoriate me. And then he was, like, going on. Now he uses it like they excoriate other people. Um, like, he's used it as both, like... Uh, a verb intransitive and transitive, I think. I'm not sure. Both ways. He's like he worked his way through it over the years. Um, but here is um, CNN making the argument that Fox now is basically, and it's hard to know, right? Are they parroting Trump or is Trump parroting them? I think it's probably Trump parroting them. It's a but, feedback loop. But I also think that, look, I mean, to be fair, it's they know what I want to pair. Speech writers are just copying it. They're probably the same people. There's maybe. a lot of plagiarism, and they they know what Trump wants to pair it anyway. Yep. Well, we decided to take a look at some of what the president said at Mar-a-Lago this week uh, versus what was said on Fox beforehand. Let's let's take a look at the combo here. Pause it. Now, this is just over the course of a week, right? Not even or a couple of days. I'm not sure. How I, don't like, I, I can't say. Hannity, Hannity, Hannity. There's no collusion. There was no collusion with Russia. A conspiracy theory that was cooked up by the Obama administration, by Democrats. Really a hoax created largely by the Democrats. As an excuse for why Hillary Clinton lost the election. That was never supposed to happen. Softening the blow of a loss, which is a loss that, frankly, they shouldn't have had. The FBI never was actually able to look at the DNC servers. Their server. The DNC <laughs> server was never gotten by the FBI. Why did the FBI take it? The Robert Mueller investigation is tearing this country to apart. It, it is a bad thing for our country, very, very bad thing for our country. There was no collusion. Everybody knows that. Everyone's always known that. There has been no collusion. <laughs> they won't find any collusion. It doesn't exist. Is the administration actually doing some pretty tough things against Russia? There has been nobody tougher on Russia than President Donald Trump. Trump is now getting tough on Russia. The mainstream media is spinning in circles. Didn't they claim he'd never get tr tough on Russia? With the media, no matter what I did, it's never tough enough because that's their narrative. There you go. I enjoyed that. Mind, 